Okay, sorry about my way, but I'm starting to do two separate videos. One for the public partition, and the other for actually installing Windows and using Windows 10. So here, this is the recovery partition video. So first, go, you should have your RAM, sorry about the interruption yesterday, system locked up, so I had to do a reboot. So quick start. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Press F12 and then hit C, and then you'll get this. <coughs> Sorry. It's going to go set up Windows 10. So, that will work a few noise. And I hate when that happens. I just had to hit right control and to get out. Shouldn't be able to see it from there. Yeah. Here we are. Valoration. Valoration copy down the bottom. It's the build 9841. <coughs> yeah, so you can see I'll do this in full screen. So now we're in full screen. Click next. And don't click this. Click, instead, click on the pay or computer link. We then get to this screen, click on troubleshoot, click on advanced tools, and then click command prompt. And then you'll get Windows 10's upgrade command prompt. I'll, I'll show you it's Windows 10's upgrade command prompt. Close, look, experimental tab. Yeah. Now <coughs> type disk part. <coughs> Make sure you boot it off your. CD DVD, otherwise this won't work. Yeah, and then type list disk, and then get disk zero, type out select disk zero, and I'll do list, just to make sure there's no partition on the disk, it should list partition, so there's no, no partition on the disk to show. If you want to create a partition, make sure you back up all data. This is a UVM, so I coast is clear. So I can just use the format. I can just use it. And so I delete all my partitions. <coughs> so here I'll type create partition primary. I'll create primary partition. Size equals only ninety six, and then and then press the up arrow and back to the size equals only ninety six and space. So you just get create partition primary. Press enter. <coughs> Sorry. Now now once you've done that, do just do a list partition. And there are your partitions. Uh, these aren't formal partitions. I'll show you. As you can see. Now select volume no, two. Um, format FS. Make sure put equals in there. And TFS quick. And, and then do select volume 1, and do format SF, and then type this. You don't have to do this, but, but it just makes life easier. So, recognizing this is a UK, so I can add. So, I put double quotation mark recovery, and then double quotation mark. I'm using an ENGB, so it's only recognizing UK. And I'm using a US keyboard. And then after that, just press enter. <coughs> and then click formats. <coughs> now I'll do list volume to prove that it's better formatted. So now, sorry. Now type out select volume zero. Assign. Return equals F. 
Turn one. Sign button equals D. And then supply two. And then assign letter C. There. Now you can just make sure that's applied. Don't know this volume. Yep. And now you can type exit if you're using it. If you're actually doing a doing a install, you would type select volume run and you would type active. But I'm not going to do that, I'm actually it's on my CD. So I'll type exit, and now here I'll type out x copy space f colon d colon slash h slash i slash s. Surely there's no spaces. So, yeah, then the switches. Let's press enter. And now we'll start to copy some files. You can see what it's doing here. Let's go put that dialog off to the side. There. And that's how I'm my way. So here's copying and sort of exiting. Now it's all a whim. It can certainly take a while. It's like 3 gigabytes. So I'll pause it and I'll come back and show you what it looks like once install.wim has finished copying. And yes, I know install.wim hasn't finished copying yet. And since this is coming off an ISO file, which I'll prove it. This is what I really hate. Uh, so see, you can just check the the ISO. Just click on it. <coughs> and yeah. And yeah. <coughs> so I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's all got wind switched off. Okay. It's all got wind finally finished copying over. Actually, it took quite a while to do that. And yeah, there's those man files, in place manifests, and this should copy over pretty quickly if you're using an ISO. See, 920 files copied. And now, now we can type exit and reboot the PC off the drive. So, thanks for watching the video on how to create a recovery install, install partition.